I forget when this restaurant opened, but I remember while a while before it opened, Sean approached me and was saying that we needed something like this in Bancroft. And he was asking me about resources and what was out there. So I was happy to see you eventually connect and and open. And this is a fine establishment. And thank you for letting us meet here tonight. And Sean, I can pass it over to you if you'd like to talk about your story here. Okay. Well, thank you, and thank you for everyone coming, and Andrew, thank you for choosing the granite. Um, I guess for me, I'm born and raised in this town. Uh, my wife was born and raised in Maydock. She moved to Bancroft, so I married my high school sweetheart. Um, but anyways, we both always said that, I guess about 15 years ago, something we always thought that Bancroft needed, and it's something we always wanted to do. Um, so we got the crazy notion in, um, well, it have been December of 2008, and then we started the process. We opened December 2009. Um, one of the reasons why it is home for us, um, we wanted to raise our family here, so that's why we came back from our city jobs. Um, I love Bancroft, it's beautiful, the geography is fantastic, um, and I always thought that a lot of people think that Bancroft just dies in the winter, but it's also a very, very vibrant community in the, in the winter. And one of the reasons why we chose this area right here location is because of snowmobile season. Um, for the last three seasons, we've been very blessed with fantastic snowmobiles. Um, our front yard will get 80 to 90 sleds all day long and it's just completely turned over over and over. Um, the biggest feedback we get from the snowmobilers is that they love Bancroft and they love this area and no matter what they say we have the best trail system around. Um, it's quite amazing even with all this sled activity a lot of them are from the states, a lot from the south, Niagara Falls, Picton, but a lot of Americans come up here as well. And I'm quite surprised because they can choose so many other destinations, but they keep saying, you know, we love Bancroft, we love your trail system, so it's great to see. Um, also, you see a lot of it during their weeks right now. So November typically is our slower times, but what we get is a lot of activity, transient people between the hours of like 1 and 3 p.m. So we have decent lunches here, but we're busier between 1 and 3. And it's a lot of people who drive up from all over the place, from every city within 2 or 3 hours. They come just to drive to visit Bancroft. Um, and transient people drive from here to Ottawa, so it's quite amazing how many people actually travel through Bancroft and choose that route. A lot of people say they'd rather take this quarter as opposed to the 401, um, or going north, they love this community, they like to see it doing very well. Um, when we designed this building, I really wanted to do something that reflects Bancroft. Um, I believe that Bancroft are very rugged and different people. Uh, we put up mosquitoes and black flies, we put up with winters and spring and summer, and it's a very, at times, a harsh climate to live in, but that's why I like this place so much. Um, the granite rugged rock out to do our parking lot, uh, the wooden siding, in my opinion, is a good reflection on what Bancroft is all about. Um, in doing all this, I'm going to bring Tim out. He's my partner in business. He's my chef. Um, he's got an interesting story because he came from Calgary <laughs> and came back in, but uh, he's really, really, he's been a big part of this business. And I want to make sure he gets a proper recognition. Um, yeah. <laughs> His, his wife is originally from here, um, so through my accountant, which is his father-in-law, we uh, spoke on the phone. Um, so we actually came out here on a limb. Uh, Tim's originally from Collingwood, but spent the last uh, 12 years out in Calgary in the big city. So he brought a lot of that up here. Um, in business, I, I think it's very important to be flexible. I think you always need to see the, hopefully there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And you always got to steer the path, but uh, I think the most important thing is being flexible and versatile. Um, for where we thought business would be at the beginning to where it is now, it is quite amazing. Um, we document quite a bit, but it's been a path that's been quite crooked, but we've always kept the uh, end line in touch, and I think we're doing, hopefully, we think we're doing a good job. Um, but anyways, um, so this is Tim Charno. He's my uh, executive chef here, and I'll let him have a little talk. Hello. <laughs> I can't do the uh, microphone thing because it actually adds 10 pounds. So, um, And for Sean making me speak, I am going to be asking for a raise after this, so I hope you can all support me in this. Um, I did spend a lot of time out west, and especially in Calgary. Um, I've been a chef for about 15 years now. I've been in the restaurant industry for 25 years. And I, I learned something coming to Bancroft. Uh, I've done this all my life, and I have a passion for being a chef. Being a chef in a big city is very, very easy. It's a, it, on one hand, it's a very demanding job, but you fill your seats all the time. It's so easy to open up a restaurant and you're just gonna be full and you get the business. My challenge was to come to a beautiful town like Bancroft and to try to keep those doors open. 
Uh, I'm not saying it's easy for all people, but like I said, if you can go into a big city where the market is there, you have a pretty easy job. Coming down here, it's a beautiful town, it's a beautiful atmosphere, and it's fantastic people, but every day I work hard to try to keep these doors open, and that's what made me excel as a chef. Um, I will always do this for as long as I live, and like I said, I could have had the easy road and been in a place where I don't have to work as much and, and, and people will flood through, whether they like the food or the atmosphere or the decor or what we do. Um, but Sean brought something special to Bancroft. I'm not from this town, I've been here for three years and, and probably about seven or eight years on and off um, with meeting my wife who is from this town originally. Um, so that was a great thing, but to come back here and to see what Sean really wanted to bring to this town and, and to try to open it up and bring people down here was absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I love the restaurant, we've progressed every year and it's not even just the tourists. For us, it's great to get the tourists and, and the summer cottagers to come up here and the snowmobilers as, as Sean touched on. Uh, but to keep the doors open and to keep the local people wanting to come here um, and enjoying the menu and enjoying variety and to keep coming here day after day after day is one of the biggest challenges that we've had. Um, I've enjoyed my hopefully success so far. Um, I, I think a lot of it banks on my uh, Cajun Brown Sugar Wings, but hopefully we can kind of keep going from there. It's been a great opportunity. Bancroft is a very, very welcoming town. Um, I've lived in a lot of small towns throughout my life and a lot of big cities as well, but Bancroft seems to kind of open up its arms and if you're willing to do the same thing for them, it's a beautiful town to live in and because of that, I have a great home. I have a great uh, wife and children. I have uh, a, an amazing partner and a best friend right now and I think we we created something super and I, and I can't wait to see what we can kind of take it and go from there. So.